Hello everybody, it's me Scooter with Alabama Backyard Wrestling. We hope you enjoyed the video we made of us um, installing, showing you how to install radio. We hope that it helps you out. Uh, I was really tired and um, we also did some more stuff, but we didn't do it on the camera because I didn't want to bore you with that. But all we did is we took the RCA wires out, we took them out and uh, we replaced them with some new ones. Um, the amp does work. Um, we didn't think it did because the speaker, but we found out the speakers that we were trying to hook up to, they were blown. So I just threw them in the garbage can. And um, I apologize, y'all. My neighbor is getting the people that painted that person washed our house and painted our house. Their next door. At the neighbor's house, pressure washing. He 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 got on the pressure wash his roof, and they're pressure washing the side of his house and his driveway, and some other thing. So you might hear a pressure washer in the background. Um, and the day is a Mexican Independence Day, and we couldn't celebrate it because a uh, Corona. Uh, because the Kung Fu virus literally has everything shut down. The only place you could probably get a taco is Taco Bell. Because that's the only thing I really saw open. And they had a drive through line out the butt. It's pretty sad when it's a Mexican holiday and they get closed down by uh, a virus named after a beer. And now... <laughs> You get online and you're seeing people talking about these big old mus killer mus hornets that if they sting you, you'll die. I say, Jesus Christ. But anyway, y'all, um, we wanted to make a video, but that guy, he ain't, he's still out there pressure washing and it's going on 7 or 8 o'clock and he's probably not going to go home until it gets dark because he's trying to knock out as much as that as he can. And I don't like having stuff like that. Well, he just turned it off. But yeah, tomorrow, y'all. And anyway, I'm about to have to go to bed here about 8 or 9. But what we're going to do is I decided that no matter what, we got a few more days anyway because then we're going to have the money in the locked in the bank pay-per-view. It'll be me... It'll be triple, triple X, the bear, and the rabbit. And we're all, and whoever wins the locked in the bank pay per view is the new four belt champion. And um, I couldn't tell you who it's going to be, but um, yeah, y'all, it's, it's going to be interesting. But like I said, y'all, we were tinkering with that truck nearly all day. And, um, We, we ripped out all the old RCA wires and somebody like cut a hole and ran them through a hole and went in through the back. Well, I said, what kind of crap is this when you could have just done it this way? So I did it my own way and I ran new RCA wires. The only thing that was still original in there that we kept out of all of it was just the remote wire. And we took that out and that was the only thing that works. The amp works, but our speakers won't be here until tomorrow so I'm gonna go into work at 5 o'clock and by 10 or 11 I gotta get out of there and I'm gonna tell my boss that because I gotta go and pick up these speakers because uh, FedEx is delivering them and uh, you're like probably thinking Scooter why don't you not well cuz see I'm not here all the time and and if you leave something out here Somebody might try to mess with it. Because you know they're sports pirates. They go everywhere looking for a free package. And I got security cameras and all. But I don't want them inconveniencing me. So I just, you know. But the last time I checked, they're in Atlanta, Georgia. And my radio, the one that I bought from Walmart, it's in Atlanta, Georgia. So they'll probably both be here by tomorrow. And, uh... I guess I'll just 
put it on the Facebook marketplace and tr try to get rid of it. Uh, try to get some money off of it. Um, who knows, I might just give it away to somebody. Um, but yeah. And, uh, but yeah, everybody, we're just sitting here. I mean, this video, because y'all, uh, we were really, we were dealing with that truck all day, like, like, you saw the video, and, you know, I'm not, I do not like waking up in the morning that early, but I woke up, so I jumped up, because it got up to 87 degrees today, and the whole time I was sitting out there sweating, and, um, you know, we got, we got it all straight now, so, yeah. It, it, it was something else, y'all. Sadly, though, I thought it was going to rain. The weatherman said, chance of raining. So I was trying to get the truck done as soon as I could because I thought it was a rain, but now it's too dark. And uh, I didn't know how long he was planning on pressure washing because I can't stand it when I hear noise background going like that, like those beep, beep, beep from my neighbor's house and the loud noises that come over there occasionally, I, you know. The wind's starting to blow. But yeah, tomorrow I gotta go in. I'm gonna try to work four or five hours max, four hours at least. And then I gotta run to the McCullough Post Office and hopefully I, hopefully I can beat the, UP, beat the UPS, man. Hopefully somebody's there, you know. I just hope that he'll back it in and they'll, you know, um, but yeah, that, I have little two small speakers that are about this big in the back of my trunk, and, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know, I mean, but I'm telling y'all, I hope my video helped you see that you have nothing to be scared of when it comes to hooking up radios. Now, the newer model ones, mm, they can be a pain, but... You know, there's just stuff you can buy, and then people were, you know, like I said, I watched a bunch of videos, and and the amp, my amp in there was not no problem. I just clicked it, and I showed you everything that you should have to do. So I hope that uh, more people will watch that video. Um, I know this is backyard wrestling, and y'all probably wasn't expecting me <laughs> to post a video of me uh, installing a radio, but sometimes, you know, I just like to try different stuff you know and um i know and i want to thank every, all everybody that subscribes to my channel all 130 of you um i'm just hoping uh I can, I, everybody's starting to reopen too uh in jefferson county they actually opened the hoover mall but i don't i don't too much care for the hoover mall i just want them to open the twin peaks and, I, and I'm hoping the 15th that I saw people at the Logan's today, the Logan's Row House and McCall. I saw cars there, not many, but some. So I'm hoping and maybe by some miracle of God that they're uh, reopening that place because I really like going there. I miss their eating their grilled meatloaf meal, and um, I'm sure some of the regulars would hope that it would open up too because they're at home. And they're with their wives or girlfriends or whatever. That's that's a that's a punishment. I don't have a girlfriend, so you know I don't I don't really I have trust issues, so yeah. I don't trust women. Sure don't. I guess it's because I shouldn't be watching all those lifetime movie shows about how those women try to poison those guys. I watch a lot of the New, the the uh, detective shows and I've seen how women will try to kill you how they'll get life insurance policies on you and then they'll try to put some kind of stuff in your arms just to kill you so you'll kill over dead and they'll get a bunch of insurance money on you so yeah I just yeah I, I like I watch a lot of other stuff y'all I mean you know I watch and uh I watch a lot of other stuff you know um when I can, you know. <laughs> but I got a digital 1080 signal, so 
when the wind blows and it's clean like this, it's it's hard to get a signal. But it is it is what it is. Meow. Meow. Come here. Meow. Say no, -uh, I'm Mister. Yeah, she she won't get in the rain for some reason. Meow. Let me go and get her. Meow. Come here, baby. Come here. Pride and joy. But yeah, everybody, this is Anna Cat. This is my pride and joy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do a video tomorrow. Yeah. We sure are. Okay. Go. Say, oh, I'm getting out of this ring. I see what you do to those stuffed animals. But yeah, the stuffed animals, they're uh up in my room relaxing you know they they're just up there chilling but I do agree we do need real people y'all but right now people don't it's like like I see people commenting you know and they don't they don't get it you know they don't get it and they don't understand that right now if you have more than five people gathered in one spot <laughs> and let's say, for instance, Jefferson County comes driving around to see that they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a shit fit. And see, that's what people don't understand. Like people say, "Scooter, you need real people." The people that are probably saying this probably are not doing things the legit way. And I see these comments. I'm like, you people just don't get it. Like, you just don't understand how this works. How this, like. I know that I see all y'all other people y'all are doing your little back row back things and I can see that it's rehearsed and y'all act like I mean you can tell the stuff you do is rehearsed because if you've ever seen me and Jacob get in the ring and not be unrehearsed you, you see me and Jacob when we do st me and the stuffed animals we don't know what's going to happen because we don't rehearse it everything that y'all do y'all sit there and y'all plan this crap you know but here's the thing even if you do rehearse it, there is a chance that somebody could get hurt. And I know half you kids are probably sitting there making these videos and you're probably not even signing liability waivers. And see, here's the thing you don't realize. When you're doing these backyard wrestling videos and somebody if somebody seriously gets hurt and the parents find out about it the parents are going to come up there and they're going to say okay when did my kid get hurt blah 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 and the other parents are going to go oh, oh, what you talking about you need to go and talk to him and then you're going to be sitting there well um we were back out wrestling and blah 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 and their parents are going to be like well did he sign a liability waiver and you're going to probably say no and then guess what's going to happen <laughs> their parents can sue you or they can sell your parent if you're under the age of 18. And then what are you going to do then? They could take your house, your home. Y'all don't seem to understand that with real people come liabilities. I mean, like, the stuff, like if I get hurt wrestling the stuffed animals, I don't have nothing to worry about. If I hurt one of them, I know they're not going to try to sue me. But the thing is, if you're if you're asking people to come and do backyard wrestling and they say sure okay but you sign you say okay well you gotta sign a liability waiver they're gonna be like oh uh -uh, i'm not signing that i said yeah but and what who i gotta sign that for well if you get hurt hurt and you know this is not a bad idea this is you know this is not the best thing in the world to do because you can get hurt you see i get hurt i get banged up pretty bad i mean I've hurt my foot, and it hurts. From time to time, it hurts still. And, you know, and you get hurt. You've seen me get hurt. You've seen Jacob get hurt. Um, you know, but the show goes on. You know, you have to continue when you can. If you can't, then, you know, there's been times I have to, you know, but yeah, everybody, if you're doing back to our wrestling shows and you, and, and you can ask anybody, because there's people that watch me, and I've had people, listen, y'all, I have people call me 
I've had people call me asking me for advice on how to run their program better. And I haven't heard from them in a while, but they know if they call me, I will answer their call and I will tell them what I think, what I would do if I was them, you know? And I try to give good advice, you know? I apologize, y'all. There's a helicopter going by. But, y'all, if you're doing backyard wrestling and you're not making your people sign liability waivers, when one of them seriously gets hurt, there will be hell to pay. And, like I said, you thinking your friends won't sue you, but I'm telling you, they might sue you, not, but their parents will. And let me tell you something. If they're under 18 and they're doing backyard wrestling, you got to have their parents' signatures and you got to have their signatures. So that way, look, what a liability waiver does, it covers your ass. And if somebody gets hurt and they didn't sign a liability waiver, then when their parents come over and say, hey, how did he get blah, 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 you're going to be the one, one on the line for it. Or your parents will. And I'm telling y'all, that's why a lot of people don't want to do Alabama Backyard Wrestling because I say, hey, you got signed of this liability. I ain't signing that. Well, then you're not getting in the ring. It's that simple. So that's why quick comment. Now, I need real people, okay? Especially when you're probably not even doing, probably because, see, there, I'm telling y'all, there's a lot of liability in this. And if you fuck up and get somebody hurt or somebody gets hurt, even if they're not facing you, you are still held accountable and liable. And that's what y'all need to understand. Because, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Get real people. Real people won't, won't hardly sign the liability waiver. You know? And right now, you can't even have, like, look at GTS, the godfather of backyard wrestling. They ain't even posting videos. I'm the only son of a bitch right now that can still post backyard wrestling videos and I'm doing it with the help of stuffed animals. And that's like tomorrow. I'm going to go to the post office for sure. I'm going to get my scrap. I'm going to come home and we're going to do it. I don't care about... I just going to have to... I don't like the fact that <clears throat> there's a lot of noise but I'm just going to have to start accepting the fact that it happens and we're just going to have to start doing videos every day no matter what's going on around us and uh, and just hope that it doesn't go on for a very long time when we are doing a backyard wrestling video because I know that's what y'all are tuning in for the you want to see us in the ring you don't too much care about these blogs by what I can see about the views when I do a blog, nobody hardly watches it. But when I'm in the ring, yeah, everybody wants to see that. So, that, but it's very important that you watch all our videos, not just the ones in the ring, because you might miss something important because you didn't watch the blogs, and then you're going to be sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. Why did you do this, this? I said, didn't you watch the videos? No. Well, then, that's why you're so lost. Like it's like watching a soap opera. You just can't pop in in the middle of it and understand what's going on. You gotta watch the whole series through to understand why this guy's cheating on the woman and the woman's okay with it. I mean, or however, the, I mean, I don't watch soap operas. I, I don't even know if they're still on TV or not. I, I couldn't tell you. But yeah, everybody, I mean, that's what's going on, you know, and uh, I just don't need people sitting there commenting saying you need real people. Because we can't get real people. Because nobody wants to sign the liability waivers. And I don't want to see no more comments like that. Or I'm going to disable the comments. Because I'm just really tired of it. You know, I mean, that's why I disabled them last time. Because people kept saying, get real people. You know. I like the stuff animals. You know, anytime I'm ready to wrestle. And here's another thing people don't understand. Most people... Don't want to do backyard wrestling unless you're going to make them a champion. You know, you, and a lot of people will walk in here thinking, look at me, look at me. Like, they'll get in here, stay a few months, and then they're like, okay, I'm ready for a championship belt. No, you're not. You haven't put in enough time. You have to earn the right for a championship match. You just don't. 
walk in there and say, okay, uh, I know this is my first day. I want it. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to put in the time. You got to put in effort. If you can't do that, then you don't deserve a championship. Ask Triple H. He'll tell you the same thing. You know, you have to earn the right to be a champ. You got to come in here. You got you to gotta come every day and put in. You know, hey, you can ask anybody. I have lost my belt many times to those stuffed animals. You know, and I, you know, like, how many times? I, I've lost to the bear. I'm not lying. The bear has beat me and won the Universal Championship. He, These stuffed animals do win the belt, y'all, and it ain't, it ain't because I planned it. It's because they earned it. Sometimes I can't help, like, like whenever we had these matches, um, Whoever's feet touched the ground and the ropes was off. I didn't plan any of that, y'all. We do not rehearse. Whatever happens is in this in this area or that area, I don't have no control over. It just happens. Like when the bear won the belt. I didn't know he fell off into the ground until I turned around and looked and he was laying on the ground. I was like, son of a bitch, he won. And he won fair and square. So, you know, it happens. Like it's fun. No, who was Buzz Lightyear, that little tall short guy, before he got decapitated, he won a belt. And I was like, wow. I would never have dreamed Buzz Lightyear would have won a belt. But what happened, he, it, he, Triple X was said, I cannot believe that son of a bitch won. I was like, I can't either, but he did. You know, I mean, you can get mad about it all you want. But he's the champion at the end of the day. I said, the rules was the one was whoever's feet hit the ground first win. It didn't matter how they got over the cage. They could have went through the cage. And if many of you have watched my shows, you know, you know, the stuff animals can do pretty much whatever they want. want, want. And you, and for all y'all that seen Jacob, Jacob will tell you, he, I mean, Jacob, can, he watches my video. He says, I don't know how y'all, you do it. I couldn't do it. And I said, he said, those things have no emotion, no nothing. He said, I don't see how you do it. I said, it takes a lot of work, y'all, and it really does. But I'm telling you, I have been doing wrestling moves, and those stuff, animals can move just that fast, and I've hit that thing I've missed moves, and I've hit that fence, and I'm telling y'all, that damn cage does not give two fucks about me, the stuffed animals, or anybody. If you get hurt, it doesn't give two Chinese fucking fortune cookies. It doesn't care, y'all. It doesn't. So I'm telling y'all, nicely, please quit telling me I need real people. If you don't enjoy the entertainment that we bustled our ass to bring to y'all, then don't watch our channel. Because we are, literally, me and the stuffed animals, when we come in here, we give it everything we have to entertain our subscribers and our non-subscribers. You know, and I'm happy that we got 130 subscribers. I really am. I never dreamed that I would get that many. If, if I ever see a 1,000 subscribers, I will be more surprised than y'all. But yeah, y'all, we kill ourselves. Me, the stuffed animals, you've seen the stuffed animals that have came and gone. And they gave their all to entertain everybody that's sitting at home, that ain't working. We, we do this for y'all. We give y'all something. We're killing ourselves. I mean, we get banged up, hurt. I get cut and lacerated sometimes. You know, it ain't big ones, but sometimes I do get hurt. Like, I hurt my foot. You remember at the heartbreak pay-per-view? I hurt my foot. I bounced off that rope. I went fine, and I fractured a bone in my foot. And, to, and I still get in this ring, and I give it everything I have for my subscribers and for people that watch our, our videos. And I would like to thank anybody and everybody that watches Alabama Backyard Wrestling gladiators do our thing either on the ring or the trampoline but, but y'all I'm telling you anything that happens like anything I do to them we do not know what's going to happen until it happens y'all Jacob will tell you the same thing 
when me and him was in the ring, we didn't never know what either one was going to do. And <laughs> sometimes accidents did happen, you know, and, uh, but he does have his own channel. And I think it's, he, and I ask that y'all go and y'all subscribe to him. I think it's, uh, Yeah, it's, and let me tell you who keeps commenting these, that I need to repeal, it's, uh, it's, uh, I am JTD Dark Boy. We get the pit point, okay? You don't need to keep telling us we need real people. We know this, okay? And, um, let me go here and see. I'm going to go. My phone's at 5%, y'all. It's about to die. And I, and just for the record, I try to be friends with anybody and everybody. You know, I try to help out people as much as I can. Um, but y'all, between my work, backyard wrestling, and trying to help other people, you know, I, I'm a really busy person, you know. And, um... I think his name is The Golden Life. The Golden Life. And, um... And, um... If you... Get a chance, go and check... Go and subscribe to his page. I don't know... How often he makes um, videos and all, but um, I'm going to, I got a red laptop in my room that I'm probably not going to use anymore. I'm probably going to give him that and let him use it and I'll show him how to do the videos and um, he can start making videos with that laptop and hopefully his channel will grow and take off. I don't know what he... I think he makes videos about Fortnite and all that other garbage that I don't I don't really care nothing about none of those games. Um, I just wish my PlayStation free controller would get here so that I could play the the myself part game, the truth of the stick finally came in and I talked to the people at the post office as I said. I told them to have like for some reason they sent my PlayStation free the Tampa Bay Tampa, Florida for some goddamn reason because they said, oh, it wouldn't, uh, because I filled out a post box thing so that they would send my mail to a post box address for both fan mail and for my Amazon stuff. Well, they said that the remote, the PlayStation 3 remote could not go to a post box, so I put my home address and you think the mail lady would have just put it in there, but no. She took it, and they sent it back down the Tampa somewhere in Florida, and then it has to come back here. And I said, dude, why didn't you not take the damn controller, throw it into one of those little bound boxes out there, and I would have came and got it? I said, that don't make no sense. See, that's what I talk about, y'all. The post office does the most dumbest stuff, and you wonder why it takes you forever to get your mail. That's why I hate it. See, that's why I don't like the U.S. Postal Service delivering stuff. Like that radio. It's in... It's in, It finally got to, um... Georgia. And my speakers are in... Uh, Georgia somewhere. And, uh... They're, I imagine all that stuff is going to be here... Uh... Tomorrow. But like I said, I'm going to go in to work at 5. And I hate it that we didn't get to do a match, but I had to get that... Um, truck done because I thought the weatherman the weatherman said oh it's going to rain it's going to storm it's going to 
whatever, and it it never did, y'all. <coughs> it didn't do nothing. It's just been cloudy all day. It might rain tonight. I don't know, but yeah. But yeah, y'all. Independent Day was canceled by a Mexican beer called Corona. What a tragedy, y'all. I mean, this whole day has just been a tragedy, but at least we got the stereo system in the truck going. And like I said, hopefully tomorrow, me, the bunny, and the bear will come out here and we're, we're doing the video from from now on y'all we're doing our backyard wrestling ring videos no matter what i don't care care the only thing that's going to stop us is rain if it's raining then no but other than that we're going to come out here we're going to put on shows every day because we're the only people that can and there's a there's some other guys in alabama that does backyard wrestling they call themselves the alabama Backyard wrestling trampoline or something. Tra Alabama trampoline people. Alabama trampoline wrestling or something like that. I don't know. But I don't... I know I subscribed to their channel, but I don't think they've... I'm not subscribed, but I do... I just subscribed. I didn't ring the bell, but... Um, I don't know if they even did video a video lately or not. I'm have to look it up and see. But... Um, Everybody, it's getting really cloudy and the wind's starting to blow and you could probably hear it on the laptop, but I apologize y'all, we were just that SUV putting that radio in, y'all, it was it was a mess um, and we did and at the end of the video I got out of my car, I went to the battery and I tightened that puzzle as hard as I could in negative and sure enough I got back in the car, it, no problem, the radio came on, the car, truck ran. Uh, the positive wire wasn't tight enough, it wasn't get, making a good connection, that's like I said, and uh, when the video ended, I just went and tightened it up, and I did the same to the negative, and uh, yeah, the amp is good, but um, like I said, it's a thousand watts, so we gotta wait for these speakers to come, and um, oh boy, it's gonna, it's gonna rattle, baby. And I see all these other people. Like I see people like, you know. I'll tell you what amazes me, and you probably you probably get a good laugh out of it if you still. I'll see people driving like, ninety cent models, eighty to ninety cent models with those twenty or thirty inch tires on them, and I'm probably thinking to myself, the rounds probably is worth more than the whole car. And I'm like, who would do that? Who would put a 30 inch rim with one inch of rubber and be driving around that. I wouldn't be doing that in Alabama. You hit a pothole, that tire's gonna go and that rim's just gonna, you know, it might knock the tire off and then you're gonna be sitting there on a rim and you're gonna be like, and then somebody's gonna be like, Can you, do you need a tow truck? I don't have the money. I spent $30,000 on some rims. Cause those rims are not cheap y'all. They're about that tall. and. People will jack up their cars or do stuff to them to get those big old tires on it. I'm like, dude, just if, if it, I mean, put a radio in it, put a decent system, but don't be putting big old rams and tires on it. Just hey, put a radio in it or a decent radio, decent some decent speakers, and don't worry about the tires and the rams. I mean, well, if the tires get bald, then yes, buy a new tire. I'm not saying don't buy tires. But just don't buy 30 inch rims. And then I'll see. What did I see the other day? I saw a guy driving a big old jacked up truck with big old tires. And I was just thinking to myself, damn shame. You know what people are thinking when you're driving those big old trucks, right? That you got a small wiener and that you're a huge prick. I don't know why anybody would want to drive a trunk that big for. I mean, that's what people are saying. That's what they're thinking. Hey, that guy must have a small wiener. 
and he has to have some big monster truck to impress the women to even get in there. That's sad. I would never do that to my truck. I'm not going to put no big old ram on there. Uh-uh. I put a decent radio in there. That's all I did. I put a radio amp in the speakers to be here, and that's all I'm doing to it. I ain't doing nothing else to it. Whew. But everybody, I'm about to end this video. Like I said, I got to get up in the morning. But at least I'm getting paid to get up in the morning. I get to go to work. I'm going to work four or five hours. Go to the post office. Get the speakers. Throw them in. Then we're coming home and we're doing a video. From now on, we're doing backyard radio videos. I don't care no more about how loud it, how loud it is at the neighbor's house or what's going on around me. Uh, Cause we're gonna start doing videos every day. It's starting to be summertime, and um, every day we're gonna do it, no matter what. Um, Cause, and we're almost to the 500 mark videos. We are almost at 500. We're working our way up there, y'all. We're trying to. We're gonna do as many videos as we can, and we're almost to 500. And they're gonna. And our videos are about different stuff, y'all. They're not always about backyard wrestling. So, uh, cause like I made a VOR swimming pool, putting a swim pool up, uh, which I haven't even got in yet. If I had a woman to get in with it, it would be awesome, but I don't have no woman. If you know any single Mexican women, uh, and you live in the McCall or Best America, can you please tell them to email me? My email is in the description. My number's in the description. They can call me. Yeah. I like Mexican women. American women. What's that song? American women stay away. I don't need your drama and, or stuff in my life. You know what I'm talking Yeah. I'm sure y'all know that song very well. Yeah. All right. There's a Mexican woman. She was helping with painting that girl. She was working her ass off. But they were married. But yeah, I want a Mexican woman. Because they cook, they clean. American women, they just, well, they cook and clean, but they don't do as good as a Mexican woman. So I think I'm gonna get, I think I need one of, one of them. A little chubby one, not a, you know, tell you one. Possibly. That ain't asking too much. Anna Cat, what are you doing? Meow. I like cats. Cats don't tell the police where your drugs are like a dog does. That's why I don't like, that's why I don't like animals, dogs. They'll tell you, they tell the police where your drugs are at. Cats, they won't say a word. You know, like that one, that one's spoiled as hell. She gets mad, like she thinks that I got like a million cans of cat food in there. She, she's getting where she won't even hardly eat the stuff out of the bag. She wants that soft stuff. But yeah, saw a mouse in the house last night. So I'm gonna get some of that sticky paper that smells like peanut butter and, um, and um, do that because I don't want to put a trap in there in my house and hear that thing popping and me make a video of a mouse getting carried out on a trap. Somebody will probably call Pete on me and try to get me arrested for animal abuse. But everybody, I hate to run now, but it's getting dark. And on that bombshell, please keep showing your support by watching our videos. Because like I said, I don't never know what we're going to make a video of. Because unlike everybody else, this is unrehearsed. Like everything I just did, I, I just made up like 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 that. But everybody on that bombshell, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna upload this video. And I'm gonna go in there, watch the news and see what the weather's gonna do. See if the killer hornets have killed anybody. <laughs> Please remember y'all to click the links in the description. Uh most of them are marijuana links. 
we are no longer messing with Amazon because nobody would buy nothing off Amazon. And like I told them, why do you need affiliate links? Think that everybody in America has an Amazon account. But on that box, everybody, I'm ending this video. I'm going inside. Good day, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are.